a Tesla Model Y was spotted towing a full-size tractor trailer. Why? We don't know. Is it smart? Probably not. Does it look badass? Absolutely. Hello dear viewers, welcome back to EV's Queen, we are growing every day with the support from all of you. Subscribe to know more about the electric mobility. We provide the most recent and updated news every day. Electric vehicles are not known for their incredible towing capabilities when it comes to heavy capacity. They can pull them, but it affects their range so much that it isn't popular yet. This is expected to change when electric pickup trucks with longer ranges come to market, like the Tesla Cybertruck with range extender and the Chevy Silverado Electric. In the meantime, consumer electric vehicles pulling big weights are more of a novelty. That's why we were particularly surprised to see this Tesla Model Y spotted towing a full-size semi-trailer in Harlingen, Texas, via u slash 16 on Reddit. Even if empty, a semi-trailer weighs between 10,000 and 15,000 pounds, which is several times the Model Y's rated 3,500 pounds towing capacity. Now, that's not a smart idea. We don't have the context of this strange sighting. Hopefully, the Model Y was only pulling the trailer a short distance, but that's still most likely illegal, is that Model Y able to control the air brakes on the trailer? Regardless of the legality and danger risk, it's also not a good idea because Tesla can void your warranty if something happens and you get caught, like with this video going viral, for example. But despite all those issues, it's still impressive to see a small electric SUV pull such a large and heavy trailer seemingly effortlessly. In another news Shreyansh Jain, a former Tesla owner, was hit with a $14,000 repair bill from an issue he encountered less than 24 hours after taking his brand new Model Y home, a recent report said. Jane told Reuters part of his electric vehicle's suspension broke when he was driving with his family the day after he'd received delivery of the Model Y. He said the car had 115 miles on its odometer when the suspension issue caused portions of the vehicle to come in contact with the road and Jane to lose steering capabilities. The Reuters investigation, which cited interviews with more than 20 customers and nine Tesla workers, as well as thousands of internal documents, found that Jane was one of thousands of Tesla owners to face issues with the company's suspension or steering over the past six years. The publication reported that while Tesla had publicly denied some of the issues and attempted to put the onus on owners, the automaker was more aware of the issues than it had indicated publicly. Tesla, which disbanded its press department years ago, did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Elon Musk has admitted in the past that the carmaker has faced some quality issues, especially during production ramps. When you go faster, you just discover these things, he told the auto expert Sandy Monroe in 2021. If we knew them in advance, we'd fix them in advance. Jane told Reuters that his family went from over the moon to absolutely petrified when the car they had paid about $55,000 to buy broke down on the road. Reuters reported that after Jane took the vehicle into a Tesla service center, a worker initially told Jane that they'd found no evidence of an external damage and suggested the electric car maker would pay for the car to be fixed. But Jane later learned he was expected to pay the $14,000 repair bill after Tesla sent him a letter indicating the issue was the result of a prior damage, the publication reported. The former Tesla owner told Reuters he ended up paying an insurance deductible of about $1,250 and faced a higher insurance premium going forward. The suspension issue took three months for Tesla to fix, and Jane resold the vehicle at a loss of about $10,000, Reuters reported. Reuters' investigation is far from the first peek into issues with quality control at Tesla. For example, earlier this year, Tesla was investigated by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration over reports of some of Tesla's steering wheels falling off while people were driving. The carmaker has also faced scrutiny from regulators over concerns related to its autopilot and beta full self-driving features and recently issued an over-the-air update after the NHTSA said the company's system for monitoring drivers that used the features was faulty. Tesla owners have also pointed out quality control issues with the brand over the years, from panel gaps and uneven paint jobs to issues at the company's service centers. Thanks for watching. 